Hey guys, so recently I went to LTX. It was really fun, I met a lot of people, a lot of new experiences, and I actually happened to record quite a bit there, so I figured why not make it into a video. So I thought I'd just review LTX as a whole. Rating will be at the end of the video, enjoy. So when we got to the hotel, well, first we had to wait for like four hours because we couldn't check in yet. It was all sorts of messed up. First of all, the light switch to the bathroom was outside the bathroom, and there was no microwave, which was kind of strange, but now that I think about it, pretty much everything in Canada was a little bit off. But overall, I'd rate the hotel probably an 8 out of 10. There was a dope pool, it had like 23 floors, it had a really nice view of downtown Vancouver, and it was only a 10 minute walk away from the convention center, so it wasn't that bad. Strangely enough, there was actually kind of a mall connected to the hotel, it was underneath the hotel. Same restaurants you see here in America, just a few stranger ones. Poutine, I've heard people talk about it all the time, it's amazing, you guys gotta try it. Only thing I will note though was the cell service in Canada was terrible. Well, now that that's out of the way, off to the convention. So first of all, as an American, there was an apparent lack of security, which was kind of like, eh, I mean, there were security guards checking your bags and whatnot, but you could easily smuggle something in. Not that I would smuggle something in, but still, it's a possibility. Well, this being my first convention, I don't really have anything to compare the size to, but it was a pretty sizable area. There's a booth for pretty much anything tech related, but honestly, even with the two days this year compared to one day previous years, I didn't even get to everything. The main stage was pretty nice. They had a BYOC and free play area, so you could bring your own computer, or if you didn't have one, you could play by yourself. I'm pretty sure there was a time limit, I'm not sure, but probably my favorite part was the live WAN show. I know a lot of people don't watch WAN show, but there were a surprising amount of people there, and honestly, I can't really describe the feeling of being there other than you just gotta be there. After seeing WAN show for, uh, what, two years, every single Friday, or almost every Friday at around 8.30 p.m. Eastern, you know, it just felt really good. Everyone started clapping when they rolled the WAN show intro. You know, it felt really good. I don't know how to explain it. And then they were kind of late by half an hour, which is kind of funny because they're always late on regular WAN show anyways. So that was kind of funny. They gave away a ton of stuff, processors, graphics cards, whole computers. I actually got a picture with Linus, Taryn, and Riley. Next year, I'll probably get like a video of them saying something. Um, actually, I don't know what, what I'd say because I saw a video of one guy. He had him repeat like his channel slogan, but I don't really have a channel slogan. Neither does our team. So, um... You guys have any ideas down in the description your domain but anyways day one was over so day two i'm just going to briefly go through some of the booths that i went to there was a world map booth where you get a little pen and you could pick wherever you were from or wherever you're coming from and surprisingly enough 90 percent of people were not from canada probably like 70 percent uh, there was actually two people from Antarctica, which I may or may not believe. Although Luke did say something about them having to create a float plane request for someone in Antarctica, which is kind of crazy. I think like 16 people live there or something like that. But that's insane. I mean, the amount of money that flights probably cost. Where would you even connect to? Like Texas? I'm, you know, I, I, have, I actually have no idea. Another one, they had a whole row of indie game developers, and I actually got a few of their business cards. I looked up a few of the games, and hey, may or may not do reviews on them in the future. Indie Interpolation Episode 2, 3, 4, you never know. There was a streamers row where just a whole bunch of content creators were streaming all LTX. I kind of don't see the point of that, but you know, it did make it feel more lively. I didn't recognize any of the streamers, but they did look pretty 
professional, pretty big. I might look them up, give them a follow, see what they're all about. Uh, motherboard House of Cards, it's exactly what it sounds like. Motherboards, you try and stack them on top of each other. Whoever is the highest wins a prize. Um, I didn't win. Um, it's surprisingly more difficult than it looks like. There's a build your own computer workshop uh, editing den, which I did. I did the editing den. That was probably the thing that I was most excited for. I signed Terran's shirt, he signed mine. But my favorite part about it was the fact that I could literally edit in real time. And they weren't even like crazy rigs or anything, but they were like five times more powerful than my computer. So it was crazy how smooth it was. And I'm pretty sure it was 4K footage too. Yeah, the guys over there have 8K red cameras. It's crazy. I don't even want to look at the file sizes for a one minute video coming off that camera. It's ridiculous. So I don't really have any reference for any other years or any other conventions. So I'd probably give LTX a 8 out of 10. Same as the hotels. Pretty decent. Didn't really, I don't know. It's kind of a new experience for me. I haven't really been to anything that big. First time out of the country too. First time on like a really big plane. So, um, yeah, lots of new experiences. I met a lot of new people. Definitely will go back next year. Remember, guys, comment down below what you want me to get the whole LTT staff to say because I'm out of ideas. I don't have a catchphrase or anything. So that was my time at LTX. It was pretty dope. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of LTX. Make sure to drop a like down below if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.